Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm sharing my favorite parks in the city of Guadalajara, Mexico. If you like green spaces and spending time in nature, I really think you're going to enjoy this video. By the way, after you watch it, make sure you let me know in the comments which park you like the most. Now let's dive in. The first park on my list is Bosque Los Colomos. This beautiful park, located in Colonia Providencia, is the perfect place to disconnect and enjoy a few hours away from the urban hustle and bustle. Covering over 90 hectares of land, this park is a serene oasis of green space in the midst of the city, with plenty of room to explore and take in the fresh air. The park features a network of walking trails that wind through the lush trees and vegetation, making it the ideal destination for nature lovers and those seeking a peaceful escape from the busy streets of the city. One of the most striking features of Bosque Los Colomos and my personal favorite part of the park is a stunning Japanese garden. This tranquil and picturesque space is meticulously designed and features traditional Japanese elements like a Japanese bridge, a serene koi pond, bonsai trees, and more. This is an amazing destination for visitors seeking a peaceful retreat or a scenic backdrop for photos. In addition to the Japanese garden, Bosque Los Colomos offers numerous sports facilities including soccer fields, basketball courts and running tracks, as well as horseback riding sessions and cultural landmarks such as the Casa Colomos Mansion, also known as El Castillo, which has been restored and now serves as a cultural center where visitors can learn more about the history and traditions of the region. Bosque Los Colomos is open to the public for free every day from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. and parking is available right by the entrance for the price of 20 Mexican pesos or 1 U.S. dollar. The next park on my list is Parque Alcalde. This small but vibrant park, built in the 1960s and remodeled in 2017, is located in Colonia Alcalde Barranquitas and covers almost 17 hectares. The man-made lake at its center and the monumental five-level water fountain were inspired by the Villa d'Este, a villa located in Tivoli near Rome that is seen as a masterpiece of Italian architecture and especially garden design. I personally love the quiet, peaceful and scenic setting of this park. Uh, you can also rent paddle boats and go out on the lake if you'd like or bring your skateboard and take advantage of the skate park area. From what I've seen, it's usually not that crowded, so if you're not that experienced, this would be the ideal place to practice. I also consider it to be a great family park, especially for families with small children, who I'm sure would greatly enjoy the playgrounds and green picnic areas. The park remodeling in 2017 also included the opening of the Michin Aquarium located in close proximity to the park, which, by the way, I recommend you make time to visit as well. I do have a full video dedicated to this aquarium and I will leave the link in the description if you'd like to watch it to get more details of what to expect if you plan a visit. In my opinion, Parque Alcalde and Aquario Michin combined are a great idea if you're looking to spend a fun, relaxing day in Guadalajara. The third park I'd like to bring to your attention today is El Parque Metropolitano. This is a very large park located in Colonia La Estancia and covering more than 100 hectares. 
I usually recommend this park specifically to sports lovers and anyone who loves being active outdoors. The park offers a wide range of recreational opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts, including jogging tracks, hiking and biking trails, and various sports facilities. Additionally, visitors have the ability to rent bikes, rollerblades, go-karts, and other types of equipment to explore the park's vast network of trails. El Parque Metropolitano also features a large lake where you can ride rented paddle boats as well as multiple playgrounds and picnic areas with food preparation installations. This is definitely a great spot to gather with friends and family with ample spaces for kids and pets to play and run around freely. In addition to its recreational offerings, the park also hosts various cultural and educational activities throughout the year, such as photography exhibits, concerts, marathons, food festivals, and other cultural events. So if you do plan a visit, make sure to check out the park website as well to learn of any events that may be taking place while you're in the city. Another park I like to stroll through in Guadalajara is Parque Agua Azul, located in Colonia Centro, right across the street from the Tianguis Cultural. This park is not that large. On the contrary, it has a very contained and private feel to it, and it's just perfect for those hot summer days, thanks to the ample shade provided by its tall trees and dense vegetation. The park has an interesting history as its creation plans date back to the end of the 19th century and were focused around the Agua Azul lagoons. In the 1920s, one of the first versions of the park housed the first zoo in the city and the most important one in Latin America at the time due to the variety of species it featured. The zoo was later closed and the park was rebuilt and reopened in the early 1950s with a brand new design, including the Acoustic Shell, an amphitheater that's seen a lot of famous bands and artists throughout the years. In 1992, for the city's 450th anniversary, the park got three new additions, a butterfly sanctuary, an aviary, and an orchidarium. Unfortunately, despite visiting on a few different occasions, we weren't able to get in because we haven't checked the schedule in advance. So if you decide to go specifically to see the orchids and the birds, make sure you are informed on the time schedule because they're only open a few days a week. Inside of the park, you will also find the Institute of Public Administration, a beautiful colonial style building painted in bright colors, as well as the Museum of Paleontology. The next park I'm going to talk about is one that I have shown before on the channel and that is Parque Mirador Independencia, located on the north side of the city, overlooking the incredible Huentitan Canyon. Now, I strongly recommend that you check out the full video from the canyon that I linked in the description because I truly hope it inspires you to visit what is not only my favorite park in the city, but one of my favorite places in all of Guadalajara. The park was built in the late 1970s to provide recreational, sports and cultural spaces to the local community and went on to become one of the most popular destinations in the city for both locals and international tourists. In an area covering about 7 hectares, the park features many green spaces, children's playgrounds, facilities for picnics, soccer, basketball and tennis courts, as well as restaurant areas with gazebos, parking lots, an open-air theater, and multiple viewpoints. 
My absolute favorite activity here is to bring food and have a picnic in the most serene setting, taking in the fresh air and the spectacular panoramic views of the canyon. I also look forward to catching a movie here when outdoor cinema nights are being organized in the amphitheater. If that's something you'd like to do as well, make sure you research the dates prior to planning your visit. Additionally, in close proximity to the park, there are two other venues you can also explore, the Guadalajara Zoo and the Selva Magica Amusement Park. Friends, last but not least, I have a bonus park that I'd like to share with you. It's El Jardín del Arte de la Glorieta Chapalita. And I'm saying bonus park because it's different than the other ones I shared in that it is very small and I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do a special trip to see it. However, if you do happen to be in Colonia Chapalita, and I'm certain you will be because it's an area filled with amazing restaurants. So if you do come here to dine either before or after your meal, make some time to take a stroll through this lovely roundabout park. Uh, by the way, on Sundays, local artists also gather here to exhibit and sell their artworks. But honestly, even on a regular weekday, this park still draws us in every time we're close by as it has that special vibe of a tranquil green oasis in the heart of a very busy neighborhood and provides a relaxing setting to enjoy a street snack surrounded by greenery, beautiful flowers and singing birds. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed my favorite Guadalajara parks list. If you'd like to watch more Guadalajara related content, we have more videos for you in our gallery and we'll be posting more in the future. If you'd like to support this channel, make sure to check out our Mexico themed decorative book collection available exclusively at clauchasescolors.com. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay adventurous, have fun, and keep chasing colors. I'll be chasing colors for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'll be chasing colors like the ones in the sky. Dive into the water with me, let's explore. I'll take you around the world like a world tour. And they say ships are always safest at the shore. But we know that ain't what ships are made for. So let's live a little. Some people don't understand. We don't need them. We just chasing love, chasing peace, chasing freedom. Living with intention, got my vision. Now I'm vibing. If you need me, then you know where to find me. I'll be chasing colors for the rest of my life. I'll be chasing colors like the ones in the sky. Live less out of habit and more out of intent. You don't know enough about the unknown to fear it. So live less out of habit and more out of intent. You don't know enough about the unknown to fear it. So go chase it. So go chase it. So go chase it.